Let's take a look at the inquiries that are available to users within the ERS application. Inquiries available to each user will be dependent on the smart card role that is used to log into the application. When logging in as an information analyst, you will note that there is an Enquiries tab as shown here. As an information analyst, although you have access to all of the inquiries, the output will contain no clinical details for the patients. The inquiries available to information analysts are the appointment inquiry, the missing referral letters inquiry, the restricted services inquiry, the service directory inquiry, the slot availability inquiry, and the two week wait breaches inquiry. If we now log into the system as a service provider clinician, the available inquiries are very similar to those available to an information analyst, with the addition of the advice and guidance responses, cancelled UBRN inquiry, and the patient inquiry options. All of the inquiries work in a very similar way, so for this demonstration, we will only focus on three the appointment inquiry the missing referral letter inquiry and the patient inquiry. The appointment inquiry allows us to see all of the appointments that are booked for a particular service, a particular clinician and over a designated time period. We can also filter down by priority. This inquiry is particularly useful as it can be used as an electronic clinic list. So rather than having a printed list, you can pre-prepare a clinic list on the screen. To do this, we simply select the service, then we set the name of the clinician whose clinic we want to see the list for. In this example, we will set this to no allocated clinician, as there is less data in the test environment than there is in the live system. And then we set the date of the clinic. Again, as there is not much test data, we will extend these dates out further than a day. As you can see, once we have pressed refresh, we can see a list of patients that would make up the clinic list. On the list, the referrals will appear in appointment order. From this list, we would simply need to click on the UBRN for the patient and we would be able to access all of the details of their appointment, as well as their clinical referral information that was attached when the referral was made. As you can see, the information shown here is a dynamic work list. It doesn't strictly fall into the category of a report, but it can be thought of as somewhere between a report and a work list. I can filter the information like I can on a report, but I can also interact with the information, much like I can on a work list. The next inquiry we are going to look at is the missing referral letter inquiry. This inquiry is particularly useful for service providers so that they can see where the clinical referral information has not been attached for a referral. We will set the dates that we want to see the information for and then click search. And here we have the results returned from the inquiry. You can see on this inquiry that there are contact details of the referring practice so that the relevant information can be requested. The last inquiry we're going to look at is the patient inquiry. This allows us to search by NHS number or by UBRN so that we can find all of the activity for a particular patient. In this example, we will search by NHS number. And here we see all of the referrals for this particular test patient. By clicking on the UBRN and then selecting View History, we can see all of the information about this referral, including the initial referral request, the appointment booking, when the referral letter was attached, and details of who accepted the referral and when. 